family is a fan favorite in her home country of Mauritania. This year, she released her second album, El Fuel. With its hip-hop influences, the album appeals to Somali's younger fans. We, the young generation, are completely taken by tectonic or hip-hop, and this gives us a chance to come back to our traditions, to the Mauritanian music. For Somali, music is a family affair. Her grandmother, Munina Ment Alia, was the first woman to sing Arabic on the radio in Mauritania. Somali's father composed music and wrote on music theory. Somali says she wants to help Mauritania's music move with the times. I cannot criticize Mauritanian music. It is our ancestors' music. I would like to see it evolved. This is why I've left the traditional music aside. Now, all I want to do is focus on my type of music. If I don't like something, I start doing something else. I don't want to split my time between traditional music and what we call tradi modern music anymore. Somali often performs with her brothers and husband. She recalls how she learned to appreciate musical styles other than Mauritania's. I remember from when I was a little girl, my father and my brothers would play a lot modern music using modern instruments. I enjoyed it a lot, and for a long time I wanted to perform this type of music too. That's why since 2004, I started to mix traditional music with modern music. On her new album, Somali sings about love, unity, and the Prophet Muhammad. Somali is scheduled to be on tour in coming months in Mauritania, West Africa, and Europe. Kimberly Russell, VOA News. <laughs> Thank you.